this case is starting it's starting to smell like season two of the senzo mehiwa trial one of the accused ulindo says butiena he was arrested in connection with a different unaliving of o william gunene he was shocked at the interrogation when he was being asked about ukinen notiben the other accused ulindani says that yena the state's case is weak because yena he just finished his sentence he was in prison under the jail for 10 years like none of the accused seem to know what they are in jail for until as are we a criminal? Who's wrong? Who's the battery? Who's Tyler Perry? I don't know. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm Sims and at the right Sims on Instagram. So please uh, follow your sister. ABC Juan today. Like for the time that I have, I'm just gonna put out as many videos as I can. And you know that we are on the pulse of the AKA and Tibelo case, right? Now they said last month they had said that bail applications were starting yesterday, right? And the court proceedings did start yesterday, but court had to adjourn because of there are water cuts, power cuts, cut off power, cut off. Kuri, vele in South Africa. <laughs> it's right in country, so obviously. Even courts are affected by the things that all of us South Africans are affected by. Sharpie court proceedings were cut. They carried on today and they still postponed the applications. Now, as we all know that five of the seven accused regarding the case here, aka not Ipelo, um uh, applying for bail right and the five are here in westville prison they are being held in custody while the two brothers are in eswatini being extradited here guys the extradition is only taking place now justice ronald lamula just now approved the extradition forms you remember for the the boys were in court last week and they had to um, put everything on hold because us in South Africa, we only started running extradition forms and papers now. So they just got approved now and the extradition um, proceedings are underway to extradite the two of the seven men that are accused for this crime. Meanwhile, here in South Africa, the five men are applying for bail and now that we are seeing their bail applications we are starting to put a few of the pieces together okay so who accused number one who is ulin dani demandi whose brothers are the imagine being a mother and just spawning three of mkulugutus two of his brothers are the ones that are in swaziland now check lindani's story according to ulin dani he says that in his affidavit that he just um finished doing a 10-year sentence according to him for a robbery he was charged and sentenced for a robbery case he finished that sentence right and now he is currently out on bail for a different case he is accused of unaliving a different person right and he is currently out on 5000 bail 5000 rands bail for that case he claims that he has nothing to do with this case he is a taxi owner a well known taxi owner in Mpangeni and he is fearing for his life as he is in police custody and he says that there is a rival family that has been unaliving his family members and siblings he has lost six siblings due to these taxi rivalry wars and he owns about four minibus taxis and he needs to be outside there conducting his business because he makes around 250,000 and he is a breadwinner and a taxi owner so do you see Hori, these this case involves very prominent people taxi owners and in 
Mkabi's sana. And then while that was his affidavit, he says that that's why he needs to be out on eBay regarding this case. He doesn't know much about this case and he feels like the state's case is weak. Okay, sharp. And then part of this five, there is a businessman, Umziwe Temba, guys. He is the alleged paymaster. The money was sent to him allegedly. More than 800,000 rand was sent to him to seek and pay the people, the other boys, the other cabbies, the other do, 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 pew, 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 driver. When are we are driver? When are we are Tugula? When are we are Landa? When are we in When are, He was the one. Hmm? Sticking money for analyzing our our superstar for analyzing our chef Utibel. And I catch you. Okay, I don't want to catch you because I don't even want to be in the same room with you because I might I might be silenced. Will I be silent or will I be silenced? That's another thing. Anyway, so 800k was sent to him. So now all we want to know is who sent you this money, sir? You know, because you are a prominent businessman in any. I'm not saying read between the lines. I'm just saying businessmen, no businessmen that no businessmen that know how to do other businesses. And then, yeah, Nalo, who accused number four, who businessman. Uh, his affidavit is very, it's the one that is delaying the proceedings because in his statement, in his affidavit, he has written things that refer to the case regarding the boys that are in Eswatiland. So now they cannot uh, admit, admit it to the court. They want it to be dismissed. In it's not admissible. I, I lawyer. I'm not lawyer. The only thing I know about law is clientele of Bob Scorpion. So please don't come at me with these terms and be like, oh, so nice. I know HR. I know labor law, CCMA. You understand? So, that I'm trying to say that. Stay with me. Nina, what? Don't be upset. Stay with me. Come, 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 come. In his affidavit, he has written things that refer to the accused that are in Swaziland. Therefore, currently, what he wrote is it is not admissible. You understand? So now we need to wait for the extradition to take place for these boys to come back so that they can refer to the statements. High five. Fine, and I got to explain it. So yes, guys, the case is ongoing. Uh, it's been, obviously, you know, Musi, it's gonna, they're going to come back and reconvene for the bail applications. They are still ongoing. Like, as this case is unfolding, it is getting scarier and scarier because these men are all involved, not all of them, but they are involved in other unalivings. And some of them say that the, they are being made to confess to this case and they don't understand Ganjan because Bona, they thought they were arrested for other cases, you know? So they seem to be as shocked as us, apparently, according to uh, the court proceedings and their affidavits for the bail applications i don't know what you guys think do you guys think that this is another senzo meyiwa forging putting plastering putting up eight where there should be cement putting carpet where should where there should be tiles what do you guys think because as for me the all i'm just saying is the one that got eight hundred thousand, and then his cut was swiped at and then he if they can just stick to him, I just, I just, guys, and also if you are a lawyer or you know about the law, isn't accused number one supposed to be the one with the, the masterminding? Like it should be the one that is doing the monopoly. So why is this one accused number four, but the money went to his account? Yeah, when I would say it's too many, it's too lot. And can you guess for it? This is the first case ever in Eswaziland that is to be broadcast live there. Like, it was their first court case to be ever broadcast live in Eswaziland. Uh, just a side note. I just wanted you to recall. This case is like being glued to the screen by many millions, thousands, hundreds. And so they cannot fail us again. Because one thing about South Africa, Mabena. Mabena. So yeah, guys, let us talk more in the comment section down below. I'm not saying I might come back to do another video. I'm just saying that. <laughs> Keep a look out on your screens. I will see you on the next one.